Well, here we are, recording four of David Martin's early stories that have been sort of uh, forgotten about. He trundled away, shaking his head. Humanoids, he decided, were impossible. It was while Canine was on his way out of the prison ship that he did something he had never done before. He changed his mind. I have returned because it would be illogical to make a rescue trip in which no one is rescued. Besides which, flying conditions are hopeless. Anyhow, these stories are entirely new to me. They're almost sort of jewel-like. They're very nice, very neatly put together. They're full of action. Uh, there's no waste in them at all. Uh, and they're, they're a joy to read. They come straight off the page. And it's canine, self-operating. He's got his own uh, spacecraft as well, KNL, which I didn't realise. I didn't realise he had it, because we never saw that in Doctor Who. Try as he might, K-9 could not regain control of his craft. It was landed for him. When he trundled out with his blaster at the ready, he was met by a giant awesome figure in a purple cloak that hissed as it swept the floor. The figure's head was completely encased in a red helmet and a red light shone behind the slit in the visor. The figure advanced slowly towards him, dragging one leg. My name is Omega. I am K-9. If you come any closer, I shall be forced to dematerialize you. The gaunt figure laughed. <laughs> you destroy me, Omega, whom a thousand suns could not harm. And then what will you do? Put me in your flying dog hutch. And when I was first asked to play K-9, I was told that it was just in for one story, The Invisible Enemy, that uh, both he and uh, Bob Baker had written together. And here I am, how many years later, still voicing K-9 from time to time. But I think you'll enjoy these stories as much as I did reading them. <laughs>